Welcome back to the channel. Um, it's Director Vim once again. If you are new on the channel, kindly subscribe to the channel. What we do here is entertainment with a mixture of cinematography. So today we're talking about this rocking on here. We're talking about this bad boy that I've got in my hands right now. I got this from Hope some few hours ago. Um, he actually swapped in with my Canon 1725 EFS. I'm not sure why we he actually swapped in. Maybe it's because of the image stabilization or the autofocus system because um yeah this lens basically does not have an autofocus let's just get straight to it okay so if you're watching this video chances are you probably looking to get one or you i don't know whatever it is but um yeah if you're watching this video then i guess it's something related to this so yes let's just get straight to it so this is a rokenon 35 millimeter f 1.4 and yeah this lens comes in different types i mean there are, you get the same lens but there's the Sony mount, the Canon mount, uh, Micro Four Third mount, which is the F, I mean MFT mount, yeah. Also, I'm not sure if they do have the PL mount. I'm not sure about that, but yeah, basically this is a cinema lens. This is a 35 millimeter f 1.4. What it means is it's very good in low light, and uh, I mean very very good in low light. But we're going to talk about the pros and the cons of having this lens. Let's start with the cons. This lens here is a 35 millimeter, so when you pay it on a full frame, you're actually getting the 35 millimeter straight on your camera, especially when you're using the 5D, the 6Ds, that's a full frame. But when you use it on a crop sensor, you're not actually going to get the 35 millimeter, which means it's going to be cropped in. So you're going to get a 56 millimeter, if I'm not mistaken. So basically, when you pair this lens on a crop sensor body, what you're actually getting is something like this. On a full frame so you get an equivalent to the 50 mil which is very tight especially when you are shooting a video like this or you're shooting i mean youtube video something that you don't need it to be tight so right now i'm rocking on the 16 mil and i think it's currently on i think this is 16 to 35 or so optica it's very rare so yeah but that's not what we're here to talk about today so yeah this lens here it's a problem especially when you are using crop sensor body but i mean it's not always a problem because when you pair this on a crop sensor body you're getting 56 or so which is very good for b-rolls um music videos uh yeah you can also shoot this type of videos that i'm currently shooting but just bear in mind that you're going to struggle especially when it comes to autofocus so yes that leads me to the second point this lens does not have any autofocus there's no belt in autofocus it's strictly manual so if you are someone that you rely on autofocus i suggest you look elsewhere because if you are shooting video like this whereby there is no one behind the camera you're going to struggle a bit because now when i put this lens like this it focuses on the lens but when i take it off it needs to focus on my face but here when you pay it on that camera it's never going to do that yes i know i know i haven't had this lens for a long time but there's a couple of i mean ups and downs and touches that i've tried and I mean, seen all this so yeah i mean as, if you're a filmmaker you you know all these things that i'm listening about so yeah um there's a huge chromatic vibration when you shoot on this lens especially when you're shooting wide open or a shiny surface like sunglasses anything which is shiny it's going to really i mean get a huge chromatic you you see it it's very, and a lot of people do talk about it but they do say that it's uh, because of the amount of glass that has been packed into the lens i mean into this body so yeah that is the problem and the downsides that you're going to get when you purchase one of this it's not always a downside starting with the pros firstly is the belt quality um the belt quality is not it's not really it doesn't feel cheap it doesn't really feel cheap it's fully plastic but this is a stronger plastic this is not the regular plastics that you get from your kit lens camera like the Canon 18 to 55. No, this is a good and it's very heavy. <laughs> it's very, very heavy. So if you are a person that does travel vlogs, I mean traveling and all that, and you need to pack a huge amount of gears in your bag, this is definitely going to weigh your bag. It's, it's extremely heavy. Um, I think... <laughs> You can actually gym with it. <laughs> but anyway, it's not that heavy, heavy, heavy if you have a person that uh, is coming from the 1DX series. So yeah, um, it's a great lens overall. Um, another thing that I noticed when I paired this on my camera was you won't be able to operate this aperture. I mean the, the f-stop 
on the camera yes i'm not sure why that is maybe because it's a cinema look alike what happens is all the f-stop is here and it's the click so when you put this on this camera and you want to switch to f4 f2 f2.8 f what what you won't be able to do it on the camera which means you need to operate it here whilst it's in front of the, the body and that happens to be I mean an ad advantage because it's not every time that I need to be dialing in my screen and searching for what I mean f-stops and all that you can just check here and then it's very it's written in bold letters so you can easily see the numbers on it which is it's quite nice um, I'm not gonna lie the focus ring is also smooth I mean it's 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 very smooth <laughs> this is good so um i think the last thing that i'll tap on is also the the, the f1.4 i mean it's crazy because these days you hardly get lenses that are great in low light for this prices i mean normally i think when this i think this lens is about seven or eight years now if i'm not mistaken i think when it came it was less than a thousand dollars if i'm not mistaken if i'm wrong please correct me in the comment section so yeah i mean to get a lens of f1.4 with such price i think it's a good lens if you are not willing uh, or looking or aiming for any autofocus or image stabilization so just bear in mind that if you buy this lens you are not bothered about autofocus you are not bothered about image stabilization or you are not going to be doing running gun well you can do running gun if you have a second assistant who is going to be operating the focus for you and all that but overall so far so good it's a good lens um, i'm not gonna lie 35 millimeter on a full frame body <laughs> it's it's you really going to enjoy it but 35 millimeter on a crop body just bear in mind that you'll be getting more cropped in uh, images or footages and it's going to look exactly like a 50 mil on a full frame so yeah if you are in a market searching for this my little advice is go for it it's a great lens you're not going to I mean have any issues with it or just have one lying down around one and i think this is really a perfect lens when it comes to music video it's really going to i mean you're really going to get a great footage just know that it's not perfect and uh, there isn't any perfect lenses so far so thank you very much for watching if you have any questions based on this lens drop it in the comment section i'll try my possible best to answer all your questions and yeah uh I need money man so I think I'll end up selling this lens. I'm broke. Very broke. Subscribe guys so I can get a little money to feed myself. Poverty is real. <laughs> it's real. <laughs> so if you guys also want to see a comparison between this lens here and this lens here. I know it's a crazy comparison. This is the 50mm f1.8 and then this is the Rokinan um, f1.4. You actually get the same look alike the same lens everything but it's written semian it's the same company basically because actually it's written here that um technology by semian optus i'm not sure if you guys can see it here so yeah i think it's it's the same company if i'm not mistaken and uh yeah i'm going to show you guys a couple of footages that i am going to shoot or shot with this lens stay tuned and i'll see you guys in the next one peace